Hello guys, Christoph here again. Welcome to my ClickFunnels video series in video number four. In this video, we're going to cover things like connecting or integrating autoresponder with your ClickFunnels account with, with the one of your funnels you already created. Um, on the market, you will find various different autoresponders. That might be Aweber, that might be MailChimp, MailChimp that might be GetResponse. In this video, we'll be connecting Aweber to your ClickFunnels account. This is autoresponder I'm using already. So I will guide you step by step in the process how to connect it and what you have to do to connect this autoresponder to your sales funnel. So first of all, you have to go to Aweber and create an account. And when you create an account, the next thing you're going to do is of course to create your email list so this is the main dashboard of Aweber to create your email list you simply click this button manage lists and that will populate all your lists you already have so to create your email list you, cr you click this green button create list so we're clicking that. That will take us to creation menu. Okay. So this is our creation menu. From this menu, we have to put some details like your company name, um, your company website, your address, and your name, etc., etc. So we'll fill in them details. And um, we'll start from here. So your company name, it's whatever you choose. That might be just simply your name. Then company website. If you have a website, you can put your website in. If you don't have a website, you can just skip this step. Or you can simply put um, one of your funnels in here. So let's say that I will be putting I'll put my website because I have got my website already so I'll put my website in here then your address has to be your current address you can't put a fake address on them you have to put your current address you live in so the sender's name which will appear on the email this is kind of a signature this will say who sent emails to your subscribers so I wouldn't I wouldn't change the name to fake name just put your real name that might be first name and surname that might be like um, initials but put your real name in here put your real credentials in here so I'll just simply leave as a Christoph so senders email this is the email address your subscribers will see like um, Jerry at gmail.com same is with this email when subscribers receive email from you on the on top of the email will be sender who sent the email so that's that will be the sender's name so i will i will just put my email address in here and then we're clicking next step this is how you would like to name your list so let's say um we are in making money online niche so we can we can call this like how to make money online and then briefly you can describe you can uh, you can say a few words to your subscribers what the list is about so say hello thanks for Join for joining my list in next few days you will receive emails from me related to making money online online 
I will be sharing very important informations for you for you on how you can be successful in your online business so let's say that's our brief um, brief text and then we can say wish you all the best in um, your online journey and then sign this is just you know briefly you, you can put different text it's definitely up to you you might put something different this is just example how how that should looks like and then we'll click to next to go to next step and then from this menu we're choosing language and um subject line so basically you're just setting up your email list on all of these steps you have to set up like your address text um name your email list etc etc so language is language depends who you're promoting to if you're promoting to Spanish to people from Spain then you will choose Spanish language when you're promoting to people from Russia you will choose Russian etc etc so it depends on what kind of what kind of countries you will send um, your products to or what kind of what kind of region you will be promoting your products to so let's in this example let's stick to English and then the subject line this is so basically this is the subject line when they when they just uh, put the email address they join your list and when they confirm so when they need to confirm subscription what will they see in the email so let's let's leave as default confirm your subscription and then you can change the text message in here of course but as i said just leave it as it is and now we will change it in later steps then approve message and create list we click that and then our list has been has been created already you see we've got list in a how to make money online list now we have to click on list options because we have to change to avoid double opt-in so we've got our description list name address etc etc notifications I'm, I'm never I never changed that, never put anything in there. Then personalize your list so you can put uh, your image in here, email signature. Um, I wouldn't play with an image because when you put some image in here, emails might land, might finish in a spam folder. We want to avoid that. So just leave it blank as it is. Then we go to confirm confirmation message and this is where we're gonna change um, double opt-in so people don't need, don't need to confirm your subscription to do this step we just need to click this green button to red to we have to switch off when it that says to us do you are you sure yes we are sure we're switching this off and then we're saving settings we must save settings otherwise that won't work so let's save settings successfully settings saved okay now the next step is while we're still on this list we have to create sign up form sign up form is to get this email addresses get the subscribers sent to your particular email list so let's create sign up form we just need to create basic form it doesn't need to be like um, some special templates no no that that may be just the easiest the simplest form we can create let's click this green button create form you can as you can see you can use different ways to create forms wordpress facebook uh wix squarespace paypal shopify uh, we will stick with a we will click internal sign up form let's click to create sign up form and remember you have to be 
in the list to create a sign up form otherwise that might not work so as you can see on top i've got my list we already created then inside this list i'm creating sign up form so this is the blank sign up form um, to make sure the form is working them to windows has to be named exactly the same as um, as opt-in form in your funnel so to double check you have to choose one of your funnels you want to connect to your email list so let's say um, okay let's say the first available so lead magnet funnel this is as an example so we will choose that one to connect this funnel we have to click to edit page we have to check our um, sign in windows what we've got if we've got email address we've got name etc etc so so in this form as you can see we've got just only email field so when we go back to our form we just leave the email field on the form just only so go back to our form and then we can delete that one and we'll just leave email field then we we click save form and then we go to settings we can you can name your form like um make money online make money online form let's say um I don't think we have to change anything here don't change anything just simply save your form we, we won't be publishing that because this is to your blog so we don't need that so we, we can just skip this step so when we've got our form created we have to go back to click funnels main account I mean we have to go back to account settings so we're opening account settings and we have to add new integration so on left hand side we've got like kind of menu from this menu we're looking for integrations we we click the integrations button and this is our integration screen you can see i already have got connected a web but it doesn't matter i will connect it again just to show you how to do it so you click this yellowish orange button add me integration we add me integration and as you can see we've got plenty of autoresponders you can connect it we've got kajabi we've got mailchimp and and many others we've got um hubspot go to webinar forms if, if you do webinars you can collect emails to webinars we've got facebook get response etc etc but we will focus on aweber so just click aweber and then it already says you already have integration for Aweber just to edit that if you prefer but for purpose of this video we will be adding brand new Aweber integration so in this long window where it says integration nickname we, we can name it we can leave it as Aweber or we can give it a custom name so let's do how to make money online just same as our list how to make money online and then we're clicking connect integration click connect integration when you click connect integration that will divert you to a web integration sign up um, that means that you agree for Aweber to give permission to click funnels to use it. You see, you've got deny and allow access. So we allow access. And now you can see we've got our integration added up. So if we've got our integration added up, we go back to click funnels dashboard. And we have to choose our funnel. So let's assume that this is our funnel we want to integrate with our with our email list so we click the 
we click the file we want to integrate and we have to edit its settings inside so we click we click the funnel then we we press this orange button I think that's orange yeah that's orange button edit page and from settings we're choosing integrations you see integrations we press integrations and as you can see, autoresponder integration is not connected. Now we have to connect our our autoresponder we just created. The integration inside the autoresponder we created. So you, you click on where it says integration, select integration, we click that. So as you can see, I've got a few integrations ready. But our current one we just created is how to make money online. We click on that. And then where it says action, we're choosing integrate existing form. You see, that's why in the form we created, we just left um, just only one field for email address. So we click integrate existing form. And then we have to select our list to be added up. So our list was how to make money online. Let's click that list. And we've you can see autoresponder integration is connected. This is a green. So you click on a site to go out of the window and then we have to save it because if you don't save you will lose it so let's save it then let's go back to our funnel and we have to test it if that works always guys remember test it do not be surprised that someone clicked your link but uh, you didn't get their email address and they they didn't sign up for your course your product or whatever you're promoting so to, to check if that working, just simply click this arrow on the side. Let's click to the arrow that will open up the window for us. So now let's put our email address and press sign up button, show me in this example. And if that works, that should take me to the page from sign up. Okay. This is our thank you page. So that took us to thank, thank you page. Now this one will take us to the offer. If I'll click that, that will take us to the offer. Uh, to check if that works, we'll go to our Aweber and check subscribers in the list. You see? Subscribed today, 6.19 p.m. So that means that our integration works already. Name unknown because the field didn't have a name. If you want, you can, on your sign up form, you can leave the field with name as well. In case if, um, in case if, let's say, we will use one email list for a few different funnels. So to change anything in your sign up form, you just simply click the sign up form button and you click the edit button in A. On our form, we can simply add another another window we can add another field if you want to add anything any window in here we just simply click let's say full that's it so and click next and then label we will label it as first name in example and we've got first name in here so and that will be input text because they will have to put input text with tick require and then we click save and now we can move it around if I'm not wrong yes we will move it around so first name first and then email as a second one and then we click this button save form so our form is saved and now we can use this form with any other funnels so it doesn't matter if that's the one we've got already or the one we will create in the future so as our form is now saved we are already set up and ready to go we can check it again on oh, no, that page hold on go back we will just simply press this arrow and we'll test it again let's try put our email address 
as you can see it took us to thank you page so that that working this is working now let's check up if we've got one more subscriber so we're still on the current list in here let's check subscribers yes we've got two subscribers that's fine that's working so that's how you integrating your autoresponder to click funnels account to your funnels it's simple and easy it's really really simple process you just need to pay attention what you're doing because otherwise you can um, otherwise you can mess up and that won't be working but when when you when you think you, you did it right just always check on your funnel put your own email address your own details and check if that works because sometimes as I mentioned that might not be working and then you have to come back to your funnel and change settings change settings in your list options so they will be working fine so <clears throat> for that video is everything I just wanted to quickly show you how you can connect how you can integrate your click funnels with autoresponder um, if you want to use Aweber, I will put the link below this video, so you can you can try it for 30 days for free. If you don't like it, you can cancel at any time, so you don't pay anything. So I hope this video helped you understand and showed you enough in details how to connect your autoresponder to your ClickFunnels account to your ClickFunnels. If you have got something on top of your mind what would you like to see in my videos just leave a comment underneath so if you enjoyed this video just give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and press notification bell and i'll be very happy to to help you again if you've got any more ideas just leave the comments below so thank you guys for watching this video i hope you enjoyed that and see you in my next video